Hello everyone, this is Eat Sleep here from the Techies. Welcome to Sony SoundForge Pro 10. Uh, if you can't already tell, this is a program from Sony and it's for sound. Uh, Sony developed this program to edit sound and audio files and make epic music, songs, whatever you want to do. Uh, there will be a download link in the description. It's a 30 day trial, I think. Uh, you should try it out. So anyways, when you first open up SoundForge, uh, they'll give you this kind of default layout here with this little uh, kind of equalizer thing on the side. Really doesn't help at all. So I'm going to go over the layout today. Uh, everything you need for the layout is under the View tab. So we're going to click the View tab. And here at the bottom, with all the little keyboard shortcuts is the stuff you can have for your layout. First of all, what you want to have all the time is you want to have your Explorer tab. So there it is. It should show up like this and you can drag it wherever you want accordingly. I usually keep it up there. And move that up. Go back to the View tab and uh, there's also a bunch of stuff, file properties, I kind of keep that up there too and uh, redo history keep that up there 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 we go and there's one more cool thing about this program that they added just kind of randomly uh, the keyboard kinda just put a keyboard in there I guess you can record from this and use it as in your uh, video they got all kinds of stuff telephone rings helicopters that's pretty cool. You can also put this wherever you want. I don't know, right here maybe. So now that we have our basic layout ready, we can start with the actual audio to audio editing. Uh, you'll notice there's this giant gray space here, and that's for our audio clips. So we want to go ahead and right click anywhere in the gray space, go to New, and you'll have this window pop up. You can set all your hertz, what your hertz you want, your bit depth, I usually keep that at 16. And your channels, channels is uh, how many tracks do you want. Most audio tracks take up two, two tracks, one for right, one for left. And um, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on 8, so that will give me four tracks I can use. use one, two, three, four, there they are. Beautiful. Now, uh, you want to import a track, then you just click on a track, going on and drag it into one of the uh, tracks there, hit yes, and now it gives you more options on how you want to do it. You could uh, tell it to have no audio at the beginning and then have a lot of audio or vice versa. You can also tell when you want it to fade in, specifically when you want it to fade in, that's a very cool thing. Same thing with fading out. Uh, you also got all these different kind of fades you can use. But I'm just going to keep it on default for this tutorial. So now we have our uh, audio track in here. Now I can do a couple things. Well, you can do a lot of things. You effects bar. Click anywhere on your video that you want to add an effect. And uh, hit effects. And there you go. You can add a chorus, distortion, all kinds of good stuff. So I just, all I did here is I clicked on this uh, event tool, it's right here, this kind of finger. You move it around, whatever you want. You can also click anywhere on the timeline, similar to Vegas, and just hit S and split the track and do whatever you want with it. So I just made it into three different tracks. There's also a edit tool, specific edit tool, which you can actually zoom in and Go to the second or millisecond or frame you want to edit using them. Look at all, all this stuff you can edit, all these beats, specific beats you can edit. Very, very in depth program. So, that's pretty much it for this basic tutorial. I'm Eat Sleep from the Techies. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.